Video. Everything that photos can bring to your channel, video can help to bring to your channel even more. Video is firstly highly impactful. When someone sees your video, they will be instantly enraptured and have the urge to watch through to the end. We are psychologically programmed to respond to people talking on screen and to listen, and we find it hard to look away. The fact that you can add music, use gesticulations and facial expressions, all of this really adds to your ability to persuade and convince. And this means you can use video to much more effectively sell a product or an idea. At the same time, though, video is also fantastic for elevating the status of your brand even more. Simply put, creating videos requires skill, and this is something that not everyone has any idea how to accomplish. You'll probably need a fairly decent camera, and you'll need good software like Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere, and the knowledge of how to use it. So, if you land on a website and the first thing you see is a glossy video with fantastic production quality, a great voiceover, brilliant camera work, what do you think? You think that it must be made by a business that knows how to make fantastic products and that really cares to invest time, money, and effort into what it does. And for these reasons, you are much more likely to trust or to buy. Finally, video lets you take part in YouTube and vlogging, and that opens up huge doors. A ton of brands that have been long unsuccessful through other attempts at marketing find that they are eventually successful when they start promoting themselves on YouTube. Not only because of all the advantages in terms of engagement and persuasion, but also because of the advantages in terms of reach and competition. Did you know that YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world behind Google? So how do you make great video? Filming. For filming, there are a few things to consider and learn. Firstly, all of the tips regarding lighting and composition that we covered in the last post are still very true here. Another tip is to learn to use a panning head. This is a device that you attach to your tripod and camera, and that will then allow you to slowly pan across different elements. This is ideal for showcasing products, but do be wary of using the same shot over and over again. If that is a risk you are running into, then try using pans that go up and down, or try zooming into the shot gradually. In order to help with lighting, it can be a good idea to purchase a softbox or similar option for creating light artificially. Having more than one light source is also preferable. So if you can purchase two, then that's even better. In a moment, we will talk about editing, and you'll see that you need specific shots for this to work properly. A big tip then is to give yourself some kind of storyboard, or otherwise just have a strong idea of what you want your video to look like before you begin to know what needs to be covered. Collect B-roll if appropriate. This is footage that you can play while you talk about other things. It should be relevant and it should fit for a range of different sections. This will not only help to keep your video dynamic and moving, but it will also be incredibly useful when you need to cover up mistakes. Don't forget the importance of sound. Don't rely on the mic built into your camera, or this will severely undermine the professionalism of the rest of the product. To get around this problem cheaply, just buy yourself a cheap lapel mic and plug it into your smartphone. You can then set that to record and tuck it away in your pocket while you deliver the audio. Finally, set up the grid on your camera if possible and try to make sure that when you talk on camera, your head and your eyes are in the top third of the screen. Editing. Here is where the real magic happens. The first job in editing is to make sure that everything runs together smoothly and that you've taken all your footage and removed the stutters and starts. It should all run smoothly. If you want to hide your mistakes and make your content flow like one long video, then you can use B-roll over the portions you've had to cut. Otherwise, you will jump from one position to another quickly. This can also be done to dramatic effect, though, and is called a jump cut. You can use this for humor or for intentional brevity and punchiness. Put more in, and that way it will look intentional, and you can get away with more. Otherwise, you can also try setting up more than one angle on the same shot, and cutting between these as you talk to hide cuts and edits. But when cutting between shots of any nature, remember again the storytelling aspect. Your aim is to avoid jarring the user by jumping randomly from one shot to another. When cutting within the same scene, a technique often used is to cut on action. That means you cut during a movement and you continue the same movement in the next shot. This disguises the edit and makes the footage flow more easily. You can likewise try to link shots based on the subject matter, or you can link shots based on where the user is looking. Use these strategies and look into others, like L-Cuts, to take your video game up a level. Then make sure to add a little background music. You can outsource this on a site like Fiverr and add your logo.
Add some bottom thirds and a good opener, and you'll have something that looks immensely professional and can really build trust and authority. A quick tip for those that are trying to build momentum on their own YouTube channel is to not make your videos too long. This whole process can take a lot of time. And if you want to make consistent uploads, then you shouldn't make your workload any bigger than it has to be. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.